Take note, bro. Hey, everybody. Picking up my bike here at BMW of the Woodlands in Texas and almost ready to get started on my trip to Alaska. So Miami, Houston completed and now Houston, Alaska, here we come. Hot weather, my bike's prepped, mentally ready and super stoked to share this journey with you. Take note, bro. All right, on our way to Fredericksburg, listening to some Fleetwood Mac. been working since I was 17 years old and you know these are some of the things that one can do after such a long long time of dedication this bike is a big investment for me it's kind of my dream bike so the reason I started this project wasn't really only because I wanted to go from Miami to Alaska and see open spaces although obviously the scenery is going to be marvelous but also I'm kind of in the middle of a life turn kind of analyzing what's important there are a bunch of things I see in the world that are clearly super, super important, starting with personal health. So when I get to Fredericksburg today, that's going to be my first set of interviews. We're going to talk about our health. Hey, Jimmy, how's it going? Good. Awesome. Where are we at? Flatonia, Texas. Flatonia, Texas. Joel's Barbecue. Joel's Barbecue. You come here a lot? Quite a bit. So you're a meat eater? Yeah. Uh-huh. Why? That's what I grew up on. Meat and uh, potatoes. <laughs> meat and potatoes. Meat and potatoes. You feeling healthy? No. Mm -hmm. I feel healthy, but I'm not. Oh, really? What's going on? Diabetic. Ah. Uh-huh. That's interesting. Yeah. So do you know why it happened? Probably because they're eating wrong. Uh -huh. Like what? Pretty much anything tastes good. <laughs> so this was lunch at Joel's Barbecue in Flatonia, Texas. First guy I talked to about health. Random guy. Diabetes. <sighs> Let's see what else this trip has in store health-wise, food-wise, and so on. The human species evolved without massive amounts of carbs, right? We didn't have candies, cookies, pasta, rice. For hundreds of thousands of years, we didn't have any of this. We certainly didn't have apple pie. We didn't have palm oil, sunflower seed oil. We didn't have sugar cane. We didn't have high fructose corn syrup. We didn't have additives. These things are highly addictive. So my friend Jimmy basically spent his life eating things that tasted good, which obviously provide a dopamine spike as well as an insulin spike and then he got diabetes and he stopped he stopped eating carbs and his life changed his diabetes basically went away he was on a bunch of medication and he stopped taking the medication his doctor said you know you don't need to take anything anymore your insulin levels are good and you're managing everything your body's managing everything correctly in fact i don't know if you guys know this you've all heard of Alzheimer's, right? Nobody wants Alzheimer's. Another way of saying Alzheimer's is type 3 diabetes. Take note, bro. So we're entering Fredericksburg. It's a small town, very, very German. In fact, we're soon going to see very German style building. I understand the downtown filled with beautiful cafes. So here, for example, we have Das Peach House, Pitz Distillery, wine tasting. So very, very German. Entering Fredericksburg. Willkommen. Ha! Welcome in German. There you go. This is the beauty of travel, right? Lots of stuff to see. Lots of people to talk to. Even after a day on a bike, always fundamental to show up for the workout. This is a must. So many years ago, when my parents were still alive, I trained my dad back into fitness. He had had multiple heart surgeries, was a diabetic, was very much overweight, 
and his willpower, of course, uh, left a lot to be desired. I taught him a way of getting back on track that was for him super useful and it worked miracles. It kept him in good spirits. He looked forward to it every day because it wasn't suffering. I'm going to teach this to you guys one of these days, one of these upcoming days. It literally takes two minutes. <laughs> We're getting ready to go from Fredericksburg, Texas to Odessa, Texas. Right now, I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to pack the bike with a Moscow Moto setup. It takes a few, just a few moments. A few little mistakes here and there, nothing that can't be overcome. What's your name? Larry Martin. Larry, a pleasure. My name's Marco. Okay, Marco. And my second last name is Martin. Well, that's my, my Yes, my, my, my granddad was from Taunton, Massachusetts. Really? Yes. I don't know if we got any kin folk in that area. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> but at least we have the <laughs> maybe same... Maybe I did? Yeah, you never know. <laughs> okay, so you basically took me in today, opened the door for me, were smiling and kind and nice, and I've seen you do the same thing. You didn't charge for everybody else. You didn't charge me cups, hot water, or napkins, even though the napkins were the expensive part. <laughs> so I want to ask you something. If you had to share three main life lessons for happiness, what would they be? Catch blessings every day. Uh, I can look at it. I can have a job that I can complain about, or huh. I can be thankful for it. Uh huh. Which one, do you, which one do you do? I choose to be thankful. All right. How long have you been here? Uh, this store, over 20 years. About Amazing. About 22, 23, something like that. Okay, so catch your blessings. What else? If you're nervous because you're going to become a film star after this, I am. don't be. I am going <laughs> to. <laughs> no, I'm trying to think of uh -huh. the, the big lessons is, is be thankful. Remember where it comes from. Where does it come from? It comes from God. All right. So you're a church-going man? Uh, not like I used to, but, but, I, but I am a believer, internally, yes. oh, yes. there's a difference, correct? Yeah. Yes. Are you keeping healthy? Well, uh, oh. I am healthy. It's there not from go. anything I'm doing, though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks so much, Larry. Thank you. A pleasure. And it has been enjoyable. Me Have too. a good trip. Thank you very much, you sir. Go. Thank you. Today was a pretty interesting day. Long, super hot, tiring, but I met somebody pretty special. As soon as I walked into his shop, he said, thank you for shopping at Walmart. <laughs> I asked him if I could have some water and he said that uh, it was a hundred bucks, but that he would give it to me for free. So I interviewed him and I asked him, what's the key to happiness? Can you give me your top three things? And he said, ah, only have to count your blessings and remember that it wasn't you that gave them to you. What I get from this is that it's really cool to celebrate life, to be thankful, to be humble, to enumerate often what you've been blessed with, even though you also have a bunch of challenges. You are always able to find something to be thankful for. And if you have a bunch of those things, be humble because very frequently it wasn't you that put them there. Maybe circumstances, maybe a chain of events. At the end of the day, health and happiness are super tied. So it's fundamental to do both things, to take care of your body and to strive for happiness, which is found in my mind, at least certainly within and not from externalities. On the contrary, externalities, especially social networks and so on, where people are showing things off, it may or may not be true. But secondly, it creates masses that are materialistic and creates particulars that are stressed. Stress can be defined as the distance between your reality and your expectations or also as uncertainty. What you need to do if you have high expectations is move. And in order to move, you have to have attitude and health. These are, you know, just some musings some thoughts. But if something of this makes sense to you, take note, bro. Hey, take note, bro.